of the NJSIAA Wrestling Finals has been provided by First Fidelity Bank, which believes an investment in our youth is an investment in our future. 171 pounds, Glenn Pritzlop from Middletown South, the junior, taking on Delcy's Greg Rhyme. He's a senior. Rhyme's pretty easy to figure out. He's the guy with the face mask. Pritzloff in the blue and the gray of Middletown South, and he's a defending state champion. As a sophomore coming in the tournament last year, Glenn uh, really uh, impressed a lot of people. Uh, he's uh, probably our next heir to uh, uh, being a three-time state titleist. He uh, really uh, possesses outstanding strength, outstanding technique, uh, one of the best wrestlers in the state. Last year, at 160 pounds, Pritzloff defeated Tom McAleer from Gloucester Catholic 16 to 4 in the state final. Glenn Rhyme is really a good wrestler. And this bout um, should be an interesting bout, but Glenn Pritzloff is, is really at a level uh, of proficiency that. Uh, Anyone here recognizes that his, his, real, his technique is really advanced. 55 seconds to go here. First period, and Pritzloff leads 4-1. Rhyme with the face mask, in case you're wondering, which I'm sure you are. In the District 31 final, he broke his nose in the first period, but that did not stop Greg Rhyme. He went on to win the championship. Didn't fare as well in the regions. Lost in the final to Ernie Carter of Deptford. Carter undefeated heading in here at 171 pounds, but he ran into Pritzloff in the semifinals, and Pritzloff came through with a 16-6 decision. So you just get an idea of how dominating Pritzloff can be. Carter undefeated throughout the year, and all of a sudden he runs into Pritzloff and is no longer undefeated. He's only lost three times in his entire career. He now leads 6-2 with 19 seconds to go here in the first period. He's a junior, Pritzloff. His last loss came back when he was a freshman. Lost in the 1991 States in the Wrestlebacks. It's not over, he's got another year. As you look at his coach, Tom Erbig, Tom in his 17th year. Interesting about Pritzloff, he's a five-time junior judo national champion. That quickness, uh, you, you really have to admire how he, he's got such excellent technique, but it's, it's the quickness that really puts him at that next level. Uh, demonstrating good technique, excellent technique, but uh, the speed, and then couple that with some physical power, I mean, makes him uh, a really uh, tough assignment to, to knock off in here in the finals. Pritzloff leads 8-3 now with 134 to go. Greg Ryan from Delcy, the Crusaders this year, had a good year. Back in 1991, though, the school won the Group 2 state championship. That's when Greg was a sophomore. He's grown with the program. It's a program that's only had one state champ. That was back in 73 when Chris Iancone won. Glenn Pritzloff, last year won the state crown at 160 pounds. Looking to win his second state crown, this time at 171 pounds. He leads 16 to 5 over Greg Ryan from Delcy High School. Pritzloff again, Chet, has been incredibly impressive. He's been devastating to, to very, very good wrestlers. And whenever a wrestler can dominate a weight class and make it look easy, you know he's something special. As a freshman, he placed fifth year. Actually made it to the semifinals, lost there to the number one seed. And again, as a sophomore, won it all. He'll be back next year. That's it. That's it. 82 wins for his career. 
He'll finish among the leaders. Won't get up to the Matt Suter class, but he'll be right there when his career is over at Middletown South. And he should finish this year at 34 and 0 with 111 to go. Pritzloff on his way to a second straight crown, leading 16 to 5. Glenn Pritzloff can afford to coast in this position, but uh, I think that uh, Greg has uh, really tried to contain him and done a very effective job in containing him here in the last period with 50 seconds to go. We had three wrestlers looking to defend their titles. Brent Conley from Delaware Valley was successful at 119. Pritzloff looks to be successful at 171. And still to come, Bill Duff from Delran will look to defend at heavyweight. Referee Gary Kessel, seeing no action, stops it, calls a stalemate. And let's start it again with 32 seconds here in the third period. There's a look at Glenn Pritzloff. Defeated Pinelands James Villa. Technical fall there in the Region 6 final. Defeated Marlowe Dots from Red Bank Regional in the District 22 final. He has done it all. Following in the footsteps of his dad, who was a great athlete, was a three-year letterman for Syracuse, played with Larry Zaka. And he's making a real name for himself among the New Jersey wrestling circles. Glenn Pritzloff will be a two-time state champion in 13 seconds. Again, another solid performance. We've seen it right throughout the afternoon from Atlantic City. The wrestlers who have won have done it with consistent and just super wrestling from the beginning right till the end. Glenn Pritzloff wins it all at 171. So Glenn Pritzloff, sort of emotionless as he heads to the sidelines to talk with our Tom McCarthy. We're here with Glenn Pritzloff, the 171-pound state champion, now a two-time state champion. And Glenn, was it more difficult the second time around? Well, it's uh, you're a little more experienced your uh, second year. And I try not to look at it as like a pressure situation to be a two-timer. I just, you know, I figured I'd been in tournaments just as important to this as this in the past, so I tried to approach it in that manner. Well, tell me about the match a little bit. You went right after him, took him down a couple of times. Talk about it a little bit. Well, uh, I just I just took him down a couple of times, and I figured to go up and down with him, let him up, and 